The head of Australia's largest power generation development company in recent years says the CPRS has focused too heavily on new taxes to punish emitters, rather than incentives for clean energy development. Trevor St Baker is executive chairman of gas-fired generation developer ERM Power and has been in Australia's electricity industry for around 50 years. Prior to founding ERM, he was a government electricity planner. The simple point is that, that if generation investors are disincentivised by a huge carbon tax, they're hardly going to, to invest in new generation with low carbon abatement. And if there's no investment in new generation, there are going to be blackouts. As the Premier of Western Australia has said, and the, and the Queensland um, Government has also supported, these are, these are the growth states. They, they need 150 megawatts of new generation to be, to be in, invested in every year in Western Australia. Queensland needs at least three or 400 megawatts of new generation. Where is that going to come from if all the existing generators, in the, uh, generating companies are being taxed billions of dollars. Mr St Baker says the CPRS ignores the achievements of existing programs such as Queensland's Gas Electricity Certificate Scheme that has achieved a 9% reduction in emissions by providing incentives for gas-fired generation. Gas-fired power station can produce the same energy as coal-fired power and half the carbon pollution. <laughs> the solution for Australia for at least the next decade is that all new all new power generation should be gas fired. Renewables are being targeted to produce 20 20, uh, to produce 20% of the power with zero emissions. The other 80% of the power either comes from coal or in Australia it, it, it has to come as much as possible from gas with a half or less of the carbon pollution. He says the white paper also ignores the experience of other parts of the world. The European Union, for example, exempted existing electricity generators from new taxes when its scheme was introduced. In Australia, we've, we've, they, they've said we're going to have the EU scheme that applies to every sector other than electricity and they're going to apply it to electricity. So electricity can do nothing tomorrow but we're going to be taxed billions of dollars, all the existing generators are going to be taxed billions of dollars, their solvency is going to be threatened and new investment is going to be threatened and if new investment in electricity generation is threatened there's going to be blackouts. He says the electricity sector does not deny the problems caused by carbon pollution but believes Australia needs to collaborate with other nations in order to make a meaningful difference. The electricity industry in Australia and worldwide is, is aiming, it knows that there is a climate change challenge that has to be met. It knows that it's a very important part of the solution and it needs to interact with government to, for governments to understand how it can help solve the problem. Australia has to move when, when the, with the rest of the world. The global problem will be solved when the whole of the world acts uh, in unison to reduce uh, emissions. Mr St Baker warns it will be ordinary Australians rather than large corporations who really pay the price of the new tax regime as electricity price rises flow through the entire economy. I mean, carbon taxing will, will not only affect generators, they either go broke or they pass the costs on. Um, so if they don't go broke and the lights stay on, they pass the cost on to electricity consumers. The cost of this is not only going to be reflected in the price you have to pay for electricity, it'll be reflected then in the cost you've got to pay for every good you want to buy. Every man, woman and child in this country will be paying for this tax. From Brisbane, this is an expert alert from Expert Guide.